it's not good. There's a whole lot going on that's really, really, really not good. If you have money in the banks, I please, I'm going to say this again, get it out of your bank. Get it out of your bank really, really soon. Now, if I'm recalling correctly, and I'm just kind of saying this off the cuff, haven't we seen stock market crashes right after the stock market has hit an all-time high, the Dow has hit an all-time high, and then suddenly, boom, you know, it's, it's like, and doesn't it, hasn't it happened? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Haven't we seen those highs late in the week, Thursday or Friday, and then suddenly the following Monday, boom, the crash? That's my recollection, but I could be wrong. Um, please protect yourself. But for all of us who don't have money, this stuff is really important in connecting the dot. We have so much going on. They are destroying this country. They've accelerated their pace because there are too many people waking up to it. But in terms of what's happening with this economy, in terms of what's happening, with the stock markets in terms of all of the numbers that so many people are saying are so unbelievably fictitious, they're not real, they're lying to you, the economy's not getting better, absolutely getting worse. In fact, one of the headlines on Dudge, on, on Drudge, sorry, um, a record 92,120,000 Americans not working, they're not even looking for work. Who's hiring? The government. The government, 10.7% black unemployment, more than double that of whites. And I will tell you, that number is so much more bigger than 10.7%. And BRICS, the BRICS um, countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, are morphing into the anti-dollar alliance. You don't even have to read these articles, nor do you have to be an expert on the economy or, you know, an economist or anything. You just have to read the headlines. You got to connect the dots and realize that we're in big trouble. We're in really big trouble. Um, gas prices wallop wallets. Wallop wallets. Food is going up and they've projected that increases are going to soar. Um, and of course, we've got the, these, you know, illegals just crossing the border. Look, I know that a lot of you know what is going on, but I really hope that you are paying attention to what is happening with this economy and the dollar and how it is on its way. Some people are speculating that it's really very, very close. I mean, everybody now is, is saying not if, but when. And there's a whole lot of people who were saying that it would happen in 2015 are now saying it's 2014. And a whole lot of people are saying that it's, that it could actually be really soon. When you see a headline that the Dow has reached 17,000, well, all you have to do is look back and realize that right before a major crash, there's been party time. Yay! Stocks hit all-time high, but you just also have to come over to the, some of these sites, which I'll link below to, and read the headlines. You know, it, it's unbelievable how, how utterly destroyed this country has already become, and please, please get your money out of the banks. Please get your money out of the banks. Please. Please, please get your money out of the bank. Hide it, store it, have cash. It's really very, I mean, Washington blog, come over here and read the headlines. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, a fat uh, Morgana, which is the most recent article but is this a self-sustaining recovery or as good as it gets? 
hidden from U.S. by America's news media, which have the audacity to lie, calling them terrorists. That's related to ISIS. Americans' sense of freedom plummets by 12%. Well, of course it would, because we're losing our freedom. Our belief in widespread corruption in the United States jumps 20%, and our trust in all three branches of government hits historic lows. It's amazing that it's only hitting historic lows now, because it's been so obvious that we don't have a government for the people, by the people, of the people, we the people, uh -uh, all of it's gone. The U.S. elite run a year... Ukrainian genocide while American public are ignorant of it. Well, a lot of people are ignorant of it and a lot of people just don't care what's happening in the Ukraine. My God, it is horrific. Ukrainian people are being slaughtered. They're being killed off. The Nazis have returned. <sighs> Pay no attention to the Apocalypse behind the curtain. The inevitable stock market reversal. The new normal is just another bubble awaiting a pop. War is bad for the economy. 18 signs that the global economic crisis is accelerating as we enter the last half of 2014. The next global meltdown is baked in. It's, it's a done deal. It is such a done deal. Connecting the dots between oil, debt, interest rates, and risk. So, um, I also got a um, article, uh, a link to an article from a subscriber who, um, hang on for one minute. Sorry, I wasn't on the page and I had to go back to my email to um, get the link. But he actually sent me two links. Uh, one of those links is to this article, J.P. Morgan to Bank of America get delay on rule isolating derivatives. Well, essentially, they have delayed provisions in the Dodd-Frank bill. Those provisions relating to <laughs> preventing bailouts from the taxpayers. Well, it's now they got a two-year delay on that understand what's happening. They're giving everything to the banks. They're stealing our money and these banks are going to swoop in and steal a whole lot more. A whole lot more. I'll link below to all of these articles but the other article was, and I gotta pause you again, he also sent me this link. New York Stock Exchange sold to derivatives company in an eight billion takeover who did they sell it to? Intercontinental Exchange, private company, ICE. It's referred to as ICE. Interesting, isn't it? I-C-E, ICE. Immigration, flooding this country, and this private con uh, company takes over the New York Stock Exchange, and it's referred to as ICE. So, this, this takeover by an Atlanta-based energy trader will... Um, I mean, New York Stock Exchange been in existence for 200 years, and this young company just swoops in, takes it over, private company. Now trading is more free. Yay! I mean, there are no rules. It's um, just party time for the elite to just, I mean, the irresponsibility, the immorality, the greed, the unbelievable selfishness that we're seeing today is at an all-time height all-time height. All right, I will link below to all of these um, articles, but there is, I'm gonna close with this video. Okay, this is a video of Christine Lagarde, the Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, speaking recently at the National Press Club. And many of you probably have seen this. I'm posting it for those who haven't. Um, and anybody who is, um, uh, rather knowledgeable about these elite scum who are into numerology and they're always, you know, fiddling around doing things with special numbers and symbols and all that. If you can decode what this woman is saying, please drop a comment below. It is so obvious. 
a message to the elite. And I will link below to Craig Hunter's interview with Steve Quayle on Christine Lagarde, these first couple of minutes of her speech at the National Press Club. And I mean, it couldn't be more clear that she's sending a message to the elite. But it also couldn't be more clear that something is imminent. Something is in the works. Something's going to happen. It's really uh, unbelievable. Um, and I uh, will link below to everything. So please let me just say again, please get your money out of the bank. Please get your money out of the bank. Please. At least, if nothing happens, you still have your money. If something happens, you won't. Bottom line. Listen to this first couple of minutes. Now, let me first of all, of course, begin by wishing you all a Happy New Year. I guess it's still time to do that, given that we are just exactly... Let me just say here, Happy New Year. I frankly think that she's, that's part of the message to the elite. Happy New Year. The change is gone to occur. Oh, man. The halfway through between our Western uh, New Year and the Lunar New Year, which will loom in a few weeks' time. I think it's also appropriate to wish ourselves a Happy New Year, given what I would like to talk to you about, which has to do with uh, the global economy and what we should expect for 2014. Now, I'm going to test you um, numerology skills by asking you to think about the magic seven. Okay? Most of you will know that seven is quite a number in all sorts of themes, religions, and uh, I'm sure that you can compress numbers as well. So, if we think about 2014, all right, I'll, I'm just giving you 2014, you drop the zero, 14, two times seven. Okay, that's just by way of example, and we're going to carry on. So 2014 will be a milestone and hopefully a magic year in many respects. It will mark the 100th anniversary of the First World War back in 1914. It will mark the 70th anniversary, 70th anniversary, drop the zero, seven, <laughs> of the Bretton Woods Conference that actually gave birth to the IMF. And it will be the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, 25th. Okay. It will also mark the seventh anniversary of the financial market jitters that quickly turned into the greatest global economic calamity since the Great Depression. The crisis still lingers. Yet, optimism is in the air. We've left the deep freeze behind us and the horizon looks just a bit brighter. So my hope and my wish for 2014 is that after those seven miserable years, weak and fragile, we have seven strong years. Now, I don't know whether the G7 will have anything to do with it <laughs> or whether it will be the G20. I certainly hope that the IMF will have something to do with it. Oh, I'm sure it will. Now, okay. is this wishful thinking? Uh, no. You can watch the, the entire uh, speech. I'll link below. It's on the National Press Club's channel. This is a very, very, very sick, disturbed crowd of people. And they want everything. They want every bit of you. They want to destroy you. Please, please protect yourself. Again, take the money out of the bank. The banks are going to fail. There's going to come a day when people go to the ATM and you're not going to get any money out. Or it's going to be a limit to $100. <sighs> Pay attention, please. Friday, and then suddenly the following Monday, boom. The crash. That's my recollection, but I could be wrong. Um... Please protect yourself. But for all of us who don't have money, this stuff is really important in connecting the dot 
We have so much going on. They are destroying this country. They've accelerated their pace because there are too many people waking up to it. But in terms of what's happening with this economy, in terms of what's happening with the stock markets, in terms of all of the numbers that so many people are saying are so unbelievably fictitious, they're not real, they're lying to you, the economy's not getting better, absolutely getting worse. In fact, it's not good. There's a whole lot going on that's really, really, really not good. If you have money in the banks, I please, I'm going to say this again, get it out of your bank. Get it out of your bank really, really soon. Now, if I'm recalling correctly, and I'm just kind of saying this off the cuff, haven't we seen stock market crashes right after the stock market has hit an all-time high, the Dow has hit an all-time high, and then suddenly, boom. You know, it's, it's like, and doesn't it, hasn't it happened? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Haven't we seen those highs late in the week, Thursday or 15, are now saying it's 2014, and a whole lot of people are saying that it's, that it could actually be really soon. When you see a headline that the Dow has reached 17,000, well, all you have to do is look back and realize that right before a major crash, there's been party time. Yay! Stocks hit all-time high. But you just also have to come over to some of these sites, which I'll link below to, and read the headlines. You know, it, it's unbelievable how, how utterly destroyed this country has already become. And please, please get your money out of the banks. Please. One of the headlines on, Dudge, on, on Drudge, sorry. Um, a record 92,120,000 Americans not working. They're not even looking for work. Who's hiring? The government. The government. 10.7% black unemployment, more than double that of whites. And I will tell you, that number is so much more bigger than 10.7%. And BRICS, the BRICS um, countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, are morphing into the anti-dollar alliance. You don't even have to read these articles, nor do you have to be an expert on the economy or, you know, an economist or anything. You just have to read the headlines. You got to connect the dots and realize that we're in big trouble. We're in really big trouble. Um, gas prices wallop wallets. Wallop wallets. Food is going up. And they've projected that increases are going to soar. Um, and of course, we've got the, these, you know, illegals just crossing the border. Look, I know that a lot of you know what is going on, but I really hope that you are paying attention to what is happening with this economy and the dollar and how it is on its way. Some people are speculating that it's really very, very close. I mean, everybody now is, is saying not if, but when. And there's a whole lot of people who were saying that it would happen in 2015.